Holy shit. Swipe. Swipe right. Swipe left. Swim. Okay, that's how I feel every time I pull out Bumble or Tinder or even Hinge. Even though Hinge is like a, you pick the picture you like, but whatever. Every time I get on Bumble or any of these dating apps, I swipe, 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 swipe. And I know I'm getting swiped too. I'm getting swiped hard. I'm getting, I'm getting those hard passes, those hard pass. But that's just the game, right? You know, but the more of these swipes that I do, it's a numbers game, right? I finally started getting some matches. But these matches start to feel more and more like interviews. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like I'm being interviewed for the big plan, the marriage, the kids, the white paper fence. I feel like I'm being fucking interviewed. You know, I moved to LA because I thought these girls were, big, were gonna be a bunch of, you know, it's LA. I thought they would be, you know, but they're not. They're all tired of the, and now they all want to be in a relationship. Apparently that's trending on Instagram, is couples and shit. Everybody wants to just rush into it. Like, you don't even know me. You're trying to interview me? You want to interview me? I go to a dinner, I pay for it all, of course. No questions asked, that's a given, because I'm old school. I pay for the meal, but every conversation feels like an interview. It feels just like an interview, and I'm not having it. It's like fast food dating. Like it's literally like speed dating, but you're online. How are you ever gonna settle down with the true one if you keep swiping? You think you're gonna just randomly hit the lottery and just swipe on your soulmate? Get the fuck out of here. That's bullshit. That's as crazy as saying that you're, you identify as a cat. Yeah. That's crazy. You're not going to just swipe on your soulmate. You know what? Fuck online dating. Get out there and be a hero. Be the hero you were meant to be. Go out there and Socialize, have a couple of drinks, or don't drink. If you're sober, that's great. I support the 12th step all the way. I have friends in the 12th step. Be sober, that's fine, but don't hate people that do drink. Still date them. My point is, get out there. Get off your phone and get into reality. Put yourself into situations where there's females or males or whatever you're into. And say hello. Start some dialogue. You'd be surprised at how many people want to get to know you. Just put on a mask. Trust me, everyone cares all of a sudden for no reason. You know, I, I talk a lot of talk. I haven't walked a lot of walk, but I'm just waiting the day that I'm walking around a corner all of a sudden, a beautiful girl with light freckles and, and her glasses and an arm full of books just walks around the corner and just the same time that I'm walking around the corner, just poof, oh, and her glasses fall and her books fall and I pick up all of her books and I say, ma'am, I'm so sorry. And we lock eyes, you know, we lock eyes. And it's true love at first sight. And she wants to do all the naughty stuff. Instantly. That's what I'm talking about. I can't, you know, play, play the safe card and wait until marriage for all the dirty stuff because I want to do all the dirty stuff now. So I got to make sure that you're good for the long run. Because if we're going to be together, it's going to be a lot of dirty stuff all the time. That's about it. Toodles. Until next time, don't forget to pull out.